You want to hear from a member of Hamas? Our next guest was a member of Hamas. In fact, he's the eldest son of a founding member of Hamas. His name is Mossab Hassan Youssef, and he fought alongside his father for years. He went to prison in Israel, where he started to see things that made him rethink the situation. He then flipped, worked undercover for Israel. You know how dangerous that is? Working for Shin Bet, that's their CIA, for 10 plus years, trying to expose Hamas. Why? Because of what he believes the pain of his people in Palestine is really about. Became dubbed the Green Prince and is now disowned by his father. But he wants you to know the reality, even though it puts him at tremendous risk. And Musab joins us now. Thank you so much for making the time. Uh, I know you're on the other side of the world. I've been chasing you for a while because I think your perspective is so valuable. So thank you very much. And what do you want people to know about what the threat to Palestine's future is? Where is it coming from? Uh, thanks, Chris. I appreciate it. Lots of confusion, huh? <laughs> um, Hamas organization is a barbaric organization, and we have to remove them from power at uh, whatever it takes. You know, and all the people who are afraid to see bloodshed, uh, to, to them I say, this is war. This is war. We will have to accept it. And Hamas started this war. We're talking about organization that does not regard human life. And this is not their first war against Israel. We have previous wars where they initiated the war against Israel. And the world and the uh, 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 global public bent so fast. And we begged for a ceasefire in the past three wars against Hamas. And Israel had to submit to the public opinion. And we did not finish them in the previous three wars. Every time they came back stronger. And this time, the voices rise again, asking to stop and to cease the fire. And what will happen tomorrow if we cease fire now? The job is unfinished. This problem has been going on for 35 years. This is Hamas. But and they Masab. have been trying so hard to annihilate the state of Israel, risking the Palestinian lives and risking the civilians in the entire region. But so. We we just, had, those. we just had a guest on, Mossab, who's sympathetic to the Palestinian cause. He said, she says what many say here, which is Israel is killing so many civilians in Palestine uh, that this is almost about bloodlust and that Hamas is their only chance uh, to fight back and that this is an act of a desperate people and it should be understood that way. What do you say to that point of view? Well, I say to that uh, point of view, uh, it's better be silent at this moment. Because uh, uh, anti-Semitism and anti-Israel, uh, anti-life is uh, the, uh, what was in common uh, between this type of people and the Nazis. You know, because the Nazis, about 100 years ago, it was a point of view. And soon later, uh, they were gassing people in chambers. So today we have very similar situation. We have a Nazi group. We saw what they did on October 7th. And they are hiding behind children and women. Israel say evacuate. Evacuate civilians. Leaflets. Phone calls. Uh, through media. Gave them an opportunity of 20 days to evacuate. But they didn't. They're still giving shelter to Hamas. You know why? Because they are partnering with Hamas. And in this case, Israel is not responsible for any harm that happens to these civilians in northern Gaza. Stay in now as we speak. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.